Hello everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Today I am going to be doing a review and sharing some artwork using this a new acrylic marker set from Artix. This is the 24 set. This is an add-on set to the previous set of 32 acrylic markers. Uh, that would be this set. So this is essentially a companion set to go with this set of 32 acrylic markers that were released a while back. I had really loved these and I the only thing is I thought they painted more like gouache markers which I absolutely loved. So I'm going to be sharing some artwork today and I'm going to be using both of the sets today. This is the painting that I did that I'm going to be sharing. I use these markers like gouache to uh, create this raccoon and I wanted to share a little bit with you. I'm going to open this and show you the colors. So when Artix had reached out to me and told me that they had made an add-on set to go with 32 set, I was excited and I immediately grabbed my markers and I went to the living room and sat on my couch and started to paint with their, you know, there with my family. And I wanted to try and see if this uh, tone tan paper worked from Strathmore. And I painted this owl and you guys were so sweet and you left me so many nice comments. Usually I'm just playing and that's how when I created this. So I tried to create something that is kind of how I did this except except for I didn't put as many layers. This paper is pretty thin and it kind of buckled a little. So I wouldn't recommend if you're gonna use very much water, but I went and found a new sketchbook, just this Tone Tan Mixed Media sketchbook. It is 184 pounds. It worked really well, is what I will be painting in today. If you don't need it in sketchbook version, they do have the little, uh, they have the little sheets and this is much more affordable so you might try you might try this one first to see how you like it uh, i believe it's the same paper they're both 400 series so i believe it's the same paper I actually had purchased this a while back to try gouache in and so i thought it's going to be pretty perfect and it really it really handled really nice and i will share yeah this is the back it's I mean, there, it didn't wrinkle a bit, and I, you will see in the video, I go back and forth over and over again with a damp to wet brush. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> I just really like to play and see what I can do and see what I can't do, and that's, sadly, that's just where I'm at. I'm going to be using the new neutrals that they gave us this time. These are the new colors. Now, I received a mock-up set straight from the factory, and so um, I believe my color, this, is uh, different than what you will be receiving because they realized that was a little similar to one of the other blues. So I believe you will receive a new one. But uh, other than that, you should receive those colors. Look at all those pretty, look at all the pretty turquoises. There's a light blue, some pastel colors. Really pretty, and lots of purples and lots of teals and some more olivey greens and this is kind of a um, dark teal so you can see how opaque they are this batch seems to be a little more opaque than the previous um, like some of these are more opaque um, they did give us a new white and a new black uh, the new white is a bit more opaque than the the old one of the things I really loved about uh, when I played with this is I learned how to make feathers. Now I did not have the new set when I created this so I was using the old white. They do also have this set of 30. If you want acrylic markers that do not reactivate you might like this set better. But so you can see the difference of the white. Okay so here's the old the old set white which is very well loved of mine. <laughs> and this is the new. Okay, it's a little bit more opaque. This is the high adhesion set. It's not that opaque either. Uh, because this one is permanent, this is what I use for this white. Because once it's dry, it's permanent, and so you can build up the layers. And so this is what I used. I used, I used both. I used the old 
for these transparent feathers and then uh, for these for the true white I built up the layers with the acrylic markers so I'm not sure if I said that when I was sharing this I was just briefly sharing how much I love them and then I did also go in and fix the eyes <laughs> um, see how it's pretty transparent but it's really great for it's really great for adding feathers and adding fur and texture, which I really liked doing. And so um, I did a lot of, and the way it has the brush tip is really great because you can just put your little brush strokes down and I was doing all these like little feathers. Now these were kindly sent to me from Arctic's of course, but I truly do love them. One of the best things about these is there's no shaking, there's no pumping, there's no having to have a scrap piece of paper on the side to, and you know, for all your little puddles for acrylic markers that you usually need, and there's no smell. I've taken these in the car with me, I've taken, I use them on the couch most of the time, and I've never had any leaking. You can use them with together, you can use them with water and thin them out. So you really can do so many things with them and that's why I love them. So they're dual tipped, they are made in China, and they have the number on the side of the barrel. I wish they included the name too, but they have included the number. So I do think it's helpful to swatch these out so you can see the color. It's really hard with the greens to tell which green you're using by the cap indicator. They look pretty similar. They've given you a really good selection of greens but it can be hard to tell the difference between the greens. So I really recommend swatching these out and writing down the number so you can tell which green you're using. So um, this one, this green is still my favorite. This is in the previous set, but so I will be using these. I will be using both of these sets today, but I will mostly be using the neutral colors. This set has some really gorgeous teals and turquoises. Look at this. Um, and the, I love that these are dual tipped, so they have a brush end on one end, and then they have a fine detail nib on the other, so you can do writing. I use these in my planners. Uh, you could do hand lettering if you wanted to. I am not a hand letterer, but you totally could do hand lettering if you want with that brush nib, but really gorgeous colors. And here's the other turquoise I really like. So they've given us two. And this is a more blue turquoise and this is a more green turquoise. They've also given you the light versions of the, the pastel versions of those. Really gorgeous colors. Um, I would love to see more reds especially. And then I wish we had a more deep true red. So I still, I love all these colors and I'm very grateful. I still want a few more colors <laughs> if I'm being honest, but I really did, um, I really enjoyed using these again. You can try different papers. I find uh, for me personally, I've enjoyed using either very uh, cold pressed paper that has very little texture or hot pressed paper, but I do prefer to use some type of you know, mixed media paper or watercolor paper. I don't think these are something you'd want to use on like Nina solar white cardstock, that kind of thing. They're also really good for bullet journaling. I think I have a page here that I started. Yeah, I have a page here I kind of started. I didn't get very far. Some gorgeous purples now. And I use, uh, this is kind of like a periwinkle color. And then I use this A91. This is from the previous set. Um, I use this as kind of an indigo. Let me share, so you can just, you know, just kind of squiggle. And this is a, one of my, my notebooks that I intended to do bullet journaling, but, um, I never really wind up sticking with it, <laughs> but yeah, lots of different colors and you can just use them by themselves and layer on top like gouache markers. They do reactivate. Most of them I find reactivate. So you want to let them dry a little if you want the layers to hold on top. I'm usually too impatient and I don't mind, I don't mind more layering. That's the fun part to me. This is dry. It will still reactivate. So you can use that to your advantage though. This is the new one. It's a bit more opaque. 
and so but they will reactivate um so which is really that's i mean honestly that's why i love them because i use them like gouache and yeah it's a lot of fun But I really love these for also for just kind of doodling. And if you don't, you know, you don't have to have a plan. You can just kind of play and doodle and draw. And they're really nice for that too. Um, I really don't like that I added that leaf. But I was trying to show you the color range. I'll go fix that later. I love all the new colors they've given us. So I'm going to be incorporating the old set with the new set and painting a raccoon today. So I'm going to put on some music and let you watch me paint. Um, I tried to leave in the sections mostly for the face because it did, I really truly loved using these. And so I think this took me like three hours. It seemed like only 30 minutes, but next thing I know it was three hours. So I tried to only put in where I'm painting the face, but you will see me going back and forth many times. I love the way you could build the layers. And I use these much like I do gouache where I put the darker layers or the mid-tone layers and then I put the lighter layers on top. I love the neutrals they added to this set. I love the turquoises. The, there's lots of blues. I loved all the purples and violets. I'm hoping that they still give us more colors and some deeper reds. So I hope you enjoy watching and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.